Chris, the AFC East is absolutely loaded. We've been talking about it all offseason. Do you expect the Bills to take a step forward this season? I, step you know back? what? I think everybody's sleeping on the Bills. First off, they got the two tight ends. They got the, the, the rookie kid, Kincaid, from Iowa. These tight ends in there are great. And they got Knox from the Cowboys. They put the two tight ends in. And that will help Allen block. Diggs is still great. Hamlin's going to play. He's had no problems. Uh, Utah, Kincaid, I said from uh, Iowa, my state, yep. from Utah. I should have known that, my fault. But the bottom line is anybody sleeping on the Bills are making a big mistake. Remember, McDermott's going to call the plays on defense because Leslie Frazier stepped away. Okay. But here's the thing that I like about the Bills. They don't want to be the favorite. They like to be the under the radar. They like to be the underdog. It's Buffalo. It's grind. It's, you know, they like the idea that everybody kind of write okay. them off. And they're going to come into New York on Monday night in a week or so, and they're going to be flying. He's got a little something to prove. Last year's finish wasn't very good. Hamlin gives them some spirit. Uh, gives them some spirit. You like the tight ends. Diggs is still great. Gabe Davis is pretty good. They got a pretty good offensive line. I'll tell you right now, I know the division's tricky. I understand that. And they do have to play at Philly and at Kansas City, which is <laughs> difficult. But I love the Bills to have a very good year in the AFC East. I would not – I know what? To be fun, I'll pick them to win the division. How's okay. That? All right. Go ahead and be fun and, and, and have this love affair that you want to have with them. All good. Let me tell you the reality. The reality is that the, the Bills – I mean, you're talking about the team that was first in points per game last year. You're talking about number one in scoring defense. But you know what else you got to pay attention to? The reality that this same guy, Josh Allen, who's an absolute stud, and we know that, over the last two seasons, second in turnovers with 37, only to Trevor Lawrence. 37 turnovers in the last two seasons. Let's kick that in the cap from a quarterback position, all right? And he's had about four turnovers in his last two playoff games. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I'll say you can talk all you want to, but in the end, because of his talent, because of how he can give it to you, because of, he, because of his belief in himself and the need to come to the rescue and to play hero ball from time to time, I think when you take into account that along with the multitude of teams that are going to have something to say, about the success that the Bills are expecting to enjoy, I think it could end up being something that hurts them. Not enough to, for them to miss the playoffs or anything, but I don't have them winning the AFC East. I don't have them winning the Chris, AFC East. Chris, I have East. a question for you. So this is the sixth year of this pairing of Josh Allen and Sean McDermott. How much of a hit do you think it was losing Dable to the Giants? Oh, I mean, obviously last year they didn't play very well, but you're going to blame it on Dorsey, the offensive coordinator, didn't do that badly. They were very, very good until late in the year. You know, last year we never about the Bills. They had the Hamlin disaster, which really ste which really derailed them. They had weather issues. They had to go play a game in Detroit. They had all sorts of problems, and they had a lot of pressure. They won in Kansas City middle of the year. Everybody thought because of that they were going to win the Super Bowl, and now everybody thinks they love the Jets. Two is this, uh, you know. The, so as a result of that, Kansas City's good, Cincinnati's is good, Jacksonville's good. Everybody kind of forgetting about Buffalo. The Bills are going to have a very good year. I, would you be shocked if they walked in here on that Monday night and beat the Jets? Well, no, but, no, but I think the thing not. that you're missing is that when people are sleeping on the Bills, it's not like we think they're scrubs. It's not like we don't think they're a playoff caliber team. But we had them knocking on the door to a Super Bowl. And then over the last couple of years, they fell short. They fell short in an epic divisional playoff game against Kansas City. Yeah, give him a break and, on and, that and, game. And, and, give him a break on that listen, game. They could have won that game. I said, no, no, I just said they lost. That's all. I didn't say they played badly. It was an epic game. What, 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 what part of epic do you not understand? I said that they played an uh, epic game, which means they played damn good. They were a damn good participant. They didn't end up on top. And then obviously last year, Joe Burrow burst onto the scene. And Joe Burrow took them out directly. And so now Cincinnati, led by Joe Burrow, has elevated themselves above Buffalo. And we already know Kansas City is above Buffalo. So when we look at Buffalo, we say to ourselves, they'll be a good team, but will they be the same team that they've been? No, which is why I said weeks ago that Stephon Diggs wasn't happy with them in the offseason. He felt like they missed their window. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. See, still favored, standard. but I get what you're saying. Where it, it, they do, it does feel like uh, let's it's, it's, the sta it's the standard. You were knocking on the door to a Super Bowl. All right. Now we're wondering. Well, not a bad was, year. Now we're wondering about three teams in your own conference are better than you. That is a step down, doggy. Period. 11 and a half over under. You're taking over under. That's 12 and 5. Yeah, I can give him 12 and 5. I so, take you're take the, so you hold it now. So I'm going to sit no, no, here. I'm, gonna say, I'm sorry. 
I got them under because I got them at 11. I think you got them Jets, at 11 I, and I, six. I think the Jets will win the division. With how many? With 12 wins. With 12 the Jets, five. though, Stephen A., you don't have any concern about Robert Sala. I do, but that defense is real. Right. We've been raving about right. the defense, yep. the Jets' defense. I'll find. Can I find 12 wins on that schedule? Yeah, go let's ahead. go. All right. Let's say they go. All right. Let's look. Five and one in the first six games. Okay. Do you see that? I'll give them a loss to the Jets, Raiders, Commanders, Dolphins at home, Jaguars in London, Giants at home. All right? They always beat the Patriots. That's I mean, that's six and one. Buccaneers. Th- Steven. Yes. They are going to be seven and one going into week nine. Who said this? Well, how many games are they going to lose in the first uh, um, uh, eight games? Go ahead. Okay. That's who else? How about Dolphins? At home, Steven. Excuse me. They won 34 to 31 with Skylar I'm, Thompson I'm throwing a football you a in a playoff game. I'm not giving you a home So why can't Tua go in there with Jalen Waddle I'm, and Tyreek Hill I'm, and beat Buffalo? Why can't that happen? And they also oh, can beat the Jets. Me. They I'm also not, can beat the Jets. All right. Okay. Let's say, for example, they could win that one. What about the Jaguars? With Trevor Lawrence. It's, what, it's, what really, that? it's really the back half of the schedule that's, that's much more thank challenging. Thank you, Molly. Thank yeah. you. The, the, I got, the, I got, the, the first, I got, the first I got, eight is not bad. I got, I got the Buffalo Bills yeah. at six and three for the first nine games. Put the put the schedule up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. should put it up again. Don't don't go away. What from are you doing, time. Nick? So exactly. I can see this and fight him here. He don't okay. All right, give him a second. second. How about that? Me, all right. Well, you should have it off. But they're going to beat the Broncos, excuse, too. Excuse, excuse me. You're excuse crazy. Me. I think they're going to lose a road game at Cincinnati. I'll give you that. I think they're going to lose the home open, the road opener against the Jets. The Jets. Two losses. Okay, okay. what else? And go ahead. either the Dolphins or the road game at the Jaguars, they will lose one of those two games. I thought the Buffalo Bills being 6 and 3. Hold on, time There's always another. Another sneaky loss. Someone else always gets you. And a sneaky it win. To, to me, it would be the Jaguars. Here is the thing on that schedule. They have five games that they could lose. At the Chiefs, at Cincinnati, at the Jets, and the Eagles. And then, you know, maybe one of the Dolphin games. Five games. If they lose them all, they're still 12-5, and five, Steven. Excuse me. And then there's one loss to somebody you didn't predict they'd lose And there's to. one win they can get. Okay. Remember how they won the game with Minnesota, how they lost the game with Minnesota last year? Remember that? Last Remember what happened? Game, exactly. Quarterback sneak. Exactly. I had, exactly. Thank you. Exactly. I had the Vikings these, that these day. Kind of things, these kind of things happen. That's the money all line. I was trying to say. You're crazy. No, please. You're Probably crazy. I did, I, listen. Can we make we, a little – how about you and I make a little wager on that ourselves? Okay. What? On Jets' bills? Right. No, on the bills over You like losing your, your money, season. don't you? You like losing your money. Okay, no, go ahead. No, let's do one on who wins the division. <laughs> oh, that's the same argument. He wants under 11 and a half, and yeah. I'll take, tw- uh, and I'll take the over. Okay. And if I win, I, here's the deal. Okay, let's go. If I win, I host for a week on this show. You host for a week? Mm-hmm. You out. Okay. All right, I can do that. 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 I don't want to. Be careful. I might I don't lose wanna, on purpose. I need a break. I, don't I might wanna, lose on purpose. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to see You're you. You're giving I don't him want, a vacation as the bet. I don't want Yana. What kind of bet is that? So he wouldn't bet me to, di- to make me disappear from the show. Okay, that's very oh, you nice. You won't like it. If I'm sitting there for a week, that would drive you crazy. <laughs> All right, and okay. what if you win? That's a good one. If I win. No, 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 no. you can't have really everything. He can pick. Let him pick. Let him pick. I take over Mad Dog Radio for a week. That's perfect. There's your play. For a week. There's your play. I take over Mad Dog Radio. I invade Dog World. I'll give you that. World. I'll give you that. That's how how long do. is your show? Three hours a day. Three hours. So you got that? It's about the same. But I'll tell you right now, here's the deal. All right, I know him like a book. I want nobody on any TV camera in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> I got to chime in. If they got Magic Johnson in studio, <laughs> he's got to stay away. I don't want to hear him. I'm doing the interview. That's enough. Is that fair? Is that fair? We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. There's nothing to talk I got about. It. I, got it. I got it. I got it. I'll, All accept, right, the bet. Go. I'll accept the bet. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.